So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays. And in today's DAX Fridays, we're going to talk about time intelligence, weekly time intelligence. So as you probably have discovered, there are no ready-made functions for weekly time intelligence, which is a pity. So you have to figure them out by yourself. So I'm going to help you out here. We're going to calculate sales by week. Nothing we are there, but we will also calculate previous week and same week last year in case you have a previous year in case you have a seasonal business okay so let's get started we have here the north wind data set the one we always use free to use you will get this file for download at Kerbal Download Center. So you just go there and then Dax try this and you will be able to get it to practice yourself, okay? With all that said, let's dig in. Okay, so how do we calculate weekly sales? This is an easy one. You have a calendar, you have created a, you know, weeks. You have weeks in your calendar and then you just have a sales measure. You put it in there and we have in the north wind data set we have three years 1996 7 and 1998 sorry it's an old data set so if you want to know the sales for the last year of sales which was 1998 you just click on there and there you have it so those are sales for 1998 by week You're like, why are you wasting your time okay now that we have this let's move to previous week how do we calculate that it is actually easier than it looks once you know how to do it as everything in life but this is not going to blow your brains out it's actually very intuitive let me show you so we're going here we're going to create a new measure and we're going to call this sales previous week equal to okay now the magic starts how do we do that we do calculate sales and what we want to know, do now is we want to manipulate the calendar so it filters the way we want it to filter. So we're going to do filter and then we want to remove any filter that can be in there on the calendar. So for that, we're going to use all calendar. So that is basically saying get rid of any filters that anything else could have put in there. I just want to remove everything and create my own okay and we're going to do calendar let's do week week number is equal to selected value calendar it's better to write week number root come on week number minus one so we say if the calendar number is equal to the selected one you know the, if you go row by row the one on the row minus one then give us the sales so it's going to go through the list of weeks and it will go 18 so for example here it will go uh, 15 16 so 19 and then it will go the selected value is 19 minus 1 18 so give us the sales for 19. enter we we'll put it in there And as you can see, let's format that. Um, whole number, maybe. There we go. Oh, the New York tax editor drives me nuts. Okay, look at this. It says here, week 19 sales was 13,000. Week 19, previous week, it was 35,000. Well, it says here previous week was 23. So obviously something is wrong. What is it? Let me show you. If we copy this to a new table, we remove previous week and then we're going to do so the filter that we have in here does not affect this table. OK, so we click on there and then we remove. So that 1998 is not affecting this table at all. So it's given all, all sales for all years. So if we move down here, you're going to see that week 19, week 18, for all years, it was 35,000. And magically, that number matches this one, 35,000. 
what does that mean? Well, this sales previous week is giving us the sales for all weeks, all years. Why? If we look at the measure here, you'll see that we did remove all the filters on the calendar. So this 1998 filter is not affecting our table. So it's just giving us the sales per week, ignoring the years, all sales, all weeks, all years. Okay. So if we want to add, you know, if we want to have previous week this year, we need to add that. We need to tell um, our filter to say, go to the calendar and make sure that the selected value on year is also applied to our calendar. So what it says here is remove all the filters on the calendar and then get whatever is being selected for year 1998 and the week minus one. Let's take a look and see what it does now. 2323. 23. So now it's giving us the right measure. I thought it was good to explain it this way so you can actually see why year and week is there. Okay, it gives probably a deeper understanding of what we're trying to do. So this is great. Okay, now we want to have sales same period, same week, but last year. Okay, because we have a seasonal business. Let's say that we sell ice cream. So obviously we want to measure July sales this year with July sales last year, which is probably our peak in ice cream sales. Okay, so how do we do that? It's actually very simple too. And very, very, very intuitive. I'll show you. Uh, so here we're going to go same week last year. This, the measure is almost the same. We're going to remove the minus one because we're going to have same week last year. And here, instead of doing the minus on the week, we need to do the minus on the year. Put it in there. I put that there, sales, and now let's format this as a whole number with a comma. And we have here the week uh, 19, uh, the same week last year, so week 19, 1997, <laughs> it was 9,000. 442 was it? Let's take a look. We're going to copy this table. And I don't know if you know, but when you copy tables like that, you know, the filter that was removed is applied again. So you, we need to do that again. So we need to say that filter should not apply to this table. And then we're going to put year in there. And we said week 19, where are you, baby? Week 19. In 1997, it was 9,442. And you can see that it was 94,400. 400. Oh my God. 9,442. So they match very, very well. And 12,000 and 12,000. So and he's giving us the correct answers. Make sure you always check your measures no matter how many years you've been working with DAX because they can't surprise you okay now this is a very simple model but still it's good to, it's, it's a habit that is good to build so now you know how to calculate weekly sales sales for previous week and sales for previous week last year if you have seasonal business so this is all for today I hope you have a great uh, weekend. I um, I am looking forward to that. But I'll see you again on Monday. So until then, take care. Bye.